It started as little more than a whisper, hidden deep inside classified budget requests, buried beneath layers of blacked out documents. Insiders spoke about it carefully, if they spoke about it at all. For years, defense analysts, aviation enthusiasts, and rival intelligence agencies could only speculate, only guess, about what was happening behind the closed doors of America's most secretive hangars. But in 2025, the rumors stopped, and the truth finally roared into the sky. The United States officially revealed the F-47, a real, operational, sixth-generation strike and fighter aircraft. No longer a concept drawing or a CGI render buried in some PowerPoint presentation, but a living, breathing, flying weapon. Faster, deadlier, smarter, and more elusive than anything that has ever flown before it. The future of air dominance, long promised, had finally arrived. At first glance, the F-47 looks almost alien. Gone are the traditional lines of older jets. Instead, it's an angular, tailless shape designed to scatter radar waves, to slip unseen through enemy airspace, to blend into the very sky it patrols. Its surfaces shimmer with adaptive camouflage, adjusting to environmental conditions, reducing not just radar signature, but even visual and infrared detection. It doesn't just hide, it vanishes. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, Boeing's Phantom Works, and Northrop Grumman's advanced systems teams came together in a collaboration that may be remembered as the most important in aviation history. Under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, they developed a plane so far beyond conventional fighters that military experts quietly admitted there is no real competitor. Russia's Su-57, China's J-20, impressive in their own right, but compared to the F-47, they are relics of an older world. Inside the F-47, the pilot doesn't simply fly the aircraft in the traditional sense. The cockpit, if it can even still be called that, is a hub of holographic interfaces, voice-activated command systems, and predictive artificial intelligence modules. The human operator gives mission objectives. The AI takes over critical support tasks, monitoring threats, optimizing flight paths, deploying countermeasures, even suggesting maneuvers and dogfights faster than human reflexes could ever allow. In combat, speed kills, and when milliseconds matter, human thought alone simply isn't enough. In the F-47, man and machine are fused into a single entity of overwhelming force. In the past, dominance in the skies meant faster speeds and heavier weapons, but the F-47 redefines air combat in every possible way. Its engines are a hybrid adaptive design that allows it to cruise efficiently at subsonic speeds, sprint to near hypersonic velocities approaching Mach 4, and perform extreme high G maneuvers without losing stability. Pratt & Whitney's latest propulsion breakthroughs are said to give the F-47 an unprecedented operational range, allowing it to cross continents without refueling and even strike global targets with no warning. But speed and stealth are only part of the story. The F-47 is not a lone wolf. It is the alpha of a new kind of aerial pack, a command platform for semi-autonomous drone swarms. Controlled directly from the F-47 systems, these loyal wingmen extend its reach, gather intelligence, jam enemy radars, and even engage hostile aircraft independently, where once two squadrons of fighters would battle for airspace. Now it might be a single F-47 and a dozen smart lethal drones sweeping the sky clean. Its weaponry is just as futuristic. Hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles with unpredictable flight paths, directed energy weapons capable of blinding or destroying enemy sensors, and cyber warfare payloads that can infiltrate enemy communications mid-battle. No single system defines the F-47. It is a modular arsenal, reconfigurable within hours to meet the demands of any battlefield on Earth. Defensive capabilities are just as terrifying. When incoming threats are detected, the F-47's outer skin, composed of adaptive metamaterials, shifts properties to better absorb radar energy. Advanced electronic countermeasures jam or deceive missiles. Decoy drones scatter to mislead tracking systems. If all else fails, directed energy turrets disable threats at the speed of light. The chances of successfully hitting an F-47, even once spotted, are astronomically low. When the world first learned about the F-47's existence, reactions were immediate. America's allies cheered, NATO, Japan, Australia, 
They all rush to integrate new defense systems and joint training programs centered around this game-changing asset. Enemies panicked. Defense ministries in Moscow and Beijing reportedly held emergency strategy sessions. New missile defenses were rushed into development. Entire fighter programs were re-evaluated. Yet the truth remains. No amount of scrambling can erase the lead the United States now holds. Hypersonic missiles alone are not enough. Fifth generation stealth planes are not enough. In the new battle space of the 2030s and beyond, whoever controls the electromagnetic spectrum, whoever commands drone swarms and battlefield data, wins. And today, that is the F-47. What makes this all the more stunning is how complete the F-47 seems to be. Earlier sixth generation concepts were often vague, futuristic wish lists filled with ideas that felt decades away. Yet the F-47 is here now, operational battle-tested in secret exercises, and already slated for squadron deployments by 2026. Simulation drills have shown that even against a full battalion of enemy air defenses and interceptors, F-47-led groups achieved mission success rates above 98%, and it's only going to get better. The F-47 is built with full modular upgradeability in mind. AI systems will evolve annually, new weapons pods will be added, drone coordination software will become smarter, maintenance costs will fall. In 20 years, the F-47 flying over foreign battlefields might bear little resemblance to the first production model revealed today. It will have evolved, adapted, just as war itself evolves. Strategically, the F-47 shifts the entire calculus of global power. Forward bases become unnecessary when you can launch from the continental United States and strike anywhere within an hour. Traditional air superiority fighters, even fifth generation jets like the F-22 and F-35, will be relegated to support roles or replaced altogether. Surface-to-air missile networks that once offered countries a false sense of security now stand useless against an enemy they can neither track nor reach. But the F-47 is not simply about war. It is about dominance, the ability to deter aggression without ever firing a shot. In showing the world the F-47, the United States is sending a message. We can see you. We can reach you. We can end the fight before it even begins. It's a reminder and a warning. In the silent skies of tomorrow, speed, stealth, and strategy will rule. And those who lag behind will be little more than fading dots on a radar screen, if they're seen at all. For now, the F-47 prowls in limited numbers, training, evolving, perfecting its capabilities. Soon, it will be joined by more. Squadrons will grow. Tactics will shift. Aerial warfare will enter an era unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. The race for sixth generation dominance is over before it even began. The F-47 has crossed the finish line while 